Electric vehicles, cars, SUVs, and pickup trucks are making lots of waves across the American automotive landscape these days. However, they pale in comparison to the importance of electric trucks, as in the big rig 18-wheelers that have dominated U.S. roads for decades. Long powered by diesel fuel, the trucking industry is undergoing its own electric revolution. But as we'll show you, there are a host of serious issues at play that will leave you wondering if electric trucks are the future or not. Before we dive in, be sure to hit the subscribe button below to ensure you keep up to date with the latest automotive happenings here at Motor Rhythm. Electric big rigs can't haul as much. A typical diesel-powered semi-truck can haul as much as 20 tons or 40,000 pounds of goods. That's a lot of apples, playstations, and shoes. But going electric means 18-wheelers could be limited to just 30,000 pounds of hauling capacity, or even less as the giant-sized battery packs required to move these interstate commerce machines are hugely heavy and take up a lot of space. That limits the amount of cargo space trucking companies can count on to move the endless supply of goods crisscrossing America's thousands of miles of highways. As a result, it would require more trips and more deliveries with an electric truck to move the same amount of cargo that a traditional diesel truck can handle, all of which leads to higher energy consumption and more expensive operational costs for the trucking companies, costs which are often passed down to the consumer. This increased time spent trucking chews into the environmental benefits of zero emissions, which are often cited as a major reason for going electric in the first place. Until electric truck manufacturers can figure out a way to match existing fossil fuel-powered semi-trucks, this exciting new technology may struggle to hit critical mass. Charging an electric 18-wheeler takes forever. There's a reason that big rigs move more than 70% of goods by value in the U.S. Along with being capable of hauling some 40,000 pounds, the legacy diesel trucks can run up to 1,000 miles on a full tank. And filling up that tank only requires about 15 minutes of downtime. Plus, there are so many stations for a truck to pull in and fuel up that the idea of range anxiety is non-existent. However, with a battery-powered electric 18-wheeler, it's a very different picture and one that isn't pretty. For one thing, it can take several hours for an electric truck to recharge its battery pack, and time is money in this industry. It's an industry that works with companies used to tight schedules, and adding in extra hours is a non-starter. Doing so means operational efficiency nosedives as truckers are forced to sit around and idle while their electric truck gets juiced up. Along with the extra cost incurred by the increased time, it adds another layer of stress to the truckers who are already running hard to keep up with schedules, especially when you factor in range anxiety. It's one thing to run out of juice in an electric car that can easily be towed. It's another thing for a massive 18-wheel truck to find itself out of power on the side of the road, far from the nearest charging station. Huge batteries equal huge environmental concerns. Electric trucks enjoy an image of environmental friendliness thanks to their promise of zero tailpipe emissions. However, the battery packs required to move these behemoths can weigh up to 16,000 pounds. For reference, the battery pack in a Nissan Leaf is well below a thousand pounds. In the event of an accident that causes the batteries on these electric trucks to catch fire, there are serious repercussions. For one, lithium-ion fires burn hotter and longer than a typical fire, making them harder to extinguish and posing special hazards for firefighting crews trying to put them out. Of course, all the hazardous chemicals used to create the batteries in the first place aren't intended to burn into the atmosphere and ground in this type of situation, not to mention when they need to be recycled or disposed of at the end of their usable life. Recycling is extremely costly and complex, especially for something that can weigh up to 8 tons. As a result, they often end up in landfills. Doing so can lead to contamination of soil and groundwater as the battery packs can leak over time. So the green image of an electric-powered 18-wheel truck future may not be entirely accurate. Trucking companies face enormous financial hurdles. Like many businesses, trucking companies often run on tight margins, especially the similar firms that are responsible for a significant portion of trucking volume around the country. Currently, these companies can expect to pay around $120,000 for a new diesel-powered semi-trailer. However, the electric-powered models can cost as much as $240,000 or even $360,000. This puts them out of reach for most trucking companies unless they take on significant debt or elect to forgo needed fleet upgrades in the interest of getting into the electric game. It's a decision fraught with risk and uncertainty, neither of which a small business is going to want to do. As well, these electric trucks require specialty maintenance and specially trained technicians to manage the service requirements, all of which just adds more cost to the bottom line. Between this and the lost productivity due to charging times, 
margins can get even thinner as profits are crimped. One outcome is that smaller trucking firms become forced into merging with the big boys, which can reduce competition and further drive costs up. That or face potential bankruptcy. Either way, electric trucks could dramatically reshape the industry, and not necessarily in a good way. Consumers will feel the pinch. Anytime costs increase on the supply side of the house, raw materials, manufacturing, and transportation, much of these increases are passed on to the demand side of the house. In other words, the consumers clamoring for these goods are going to pay more when the suppliers have to pay more. The same applies in the scenario of trucking companies trying to adopt battery-powered big rigs. More expensive trucks and maintenance, fewer deliveries per load, and increased downtime during charging are all factors that drive up the costs for these firms, costs that inevitably get passed down the line. Now trucks transport all manner of cargo, including commercial materials like machinery and raw materials for building that most consumers aren't involved with. However, those consumers can count on virtually every product they use on a daily basis, from groceries and clothing to electronics and home repair goods, being impacted by increased trucking costs particularly in the case of industry consolidation and its potential for reducing competition. It's a scenario that is magnified for those already feeling the acute pinch of inflation, as these added costs could further erode their purchasing power. It's a possibility that may ultimately outweigh the perceived environmental benefits of zero-emission trucks. California is forcing the issue. Given its sheer size, the state of California naturally has an outsized impact on the trucking industry. Coupled with that are the state's aggressive policies for reducing emissions and forcing truck makers into line. Currently, California is mandating that all new trucks be powered by either electricity or hydrogen no later than 2035. That's a nice thought from the perspective of minimizing the use of fossil fuels. But the hard reality is less rosy. At the moment, the infrastructure needed to support this mandate is woefully lacking, which creates significant logistical hurdles that trucking companies would need to overcome in order for this to work. The number of electric charging stations is simply too small, especially when given the dearth of their options at critical locations like distribution centers and ports of entry. That issue is even more of a problem when it comes to fueling trucks with hydrogen, as those refueling stations are extremely rare. As a result, truckers in California, like those running back and forth across the country, would end up spending long hours searching for and charging up their alternative energy-powered 18-wheelers. Until the infrastructure for electric charging stations and hydrogen hydrogen refueling is significantly improved, California will make it tough to see success in the electric truck future. One Trucker's Real World Experience With so much potential on the line around electric-powered semi-trucks, it may come as no surprise that truck drivers have been trying out the new technology. One of these people is veteran trucker Ariel Ramos, a man who made the leap from diesel to battery power in 2024. He was already running a successful long-haul trucking company of his own with traditional diesel rigs capable of going some 1,000 miles on a full tank. And filling up those rigs was only estimated to take Mr. Ramos around 15 minutes. Not only that, he could average six deliveries per day with his classic diesel-powered rig. However, on the first day after making the transition to battery power, Mr. Ramos was only able to finish two deliveries before he needed to find a station and recharge the batteries. In his estimation, to do the same run of 1,000 miles, he would have to make at least six stops for recharging and spend around 90 minutes doing so each time. Not to mention having to drive as much as 30 miles out of the way to find a charging station. Needless to say, Mr. Ramos's productivity fell off a cliff along with his income. This one example drives the point home that as exciting and promising as electric-powered 18-wheelers look on paper, the reality of their use in the real world is currently falling short. Are electric trucks the future? The current push towards electrifying all vehicles, cars, SUVs, pickup trucks, and the huge semi-trucks that power America's economy is a movement on par with the dawn of the gas-powered automobile. It's a seismic shift in an industry that has been doing things more or less the same way for more than a century. As with any massive changes in an industry, there are going to be some major hurdles along the way, such as the case with driving trucks toward a battery-powered future. Could future advances in technology, changes in legislative policy, and dramatically improved infrastructure lower these hurdles? Of course, but at the moment, they present a serious barrier to widespread adoption within the trucking and transportation industry. At the moment, trucking companies are likely better served by focusing their budgets on existing systems, like hybrid solutions or cleaner diesel engines. Only time will tell if electric trucks really are the future, so be sure to hit that subscribe button below and join Motor Rhythm on this ever-evolving journey.